Uh, Kevin boiled his corn and he added the cal, the sodium hydroxide, your anhydride. There's a, and there's a variety of those. You could uh, uh, burn oyster shells. You could burn down certain types of wood. You could cook. That, and that's how they got their their anhydrides or lyes. When you talk about alkalines, like I did, well, I did a demo last week on cast iron to use lye to uh, to clean cast iron. In a, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do Bavarian pretzels with the traditional lye dip. Lye's like really caustic stuff, but a lot of people don't, you know, you see, you hear sodium, you know, hydroxide or calcium hydroxide, you know, chemicals, you know, but this stuff comes from wood ash. If you're making your own lye to make soap, say, traditionally, you take the wood out of the fireplace and you build this contraption where you run water through it and it drains through and, and what you end up with is this really, like, you know, 14 pH sure. water. And that's what you use to make your soap, and that's what you would you could, you could use it to do this. Or you, you know, a lot of the recipes, traditional recipes for this, they just take a scoop of wood ash right out of the fireplace and you put it right in with the corn and cook it in, cook it together. It's just an alkaline. Yeah. The word nixtama, nixt means ash, nawa, in the uh, language of the Aztecs and other uh, Mesoamerican people. So uh, Kevin's